Hello, American Patriots, and welcome to another episode of the Douglas Ducote Show. You had many places you could be tonight, but you chose to be here, and for that, I am forever grateful. Well, I'm sure by now most of you have heard that the guy up in 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, a.k.a. Joe Biden, has held a press conference today, and he talked about how he is going to go after your Second Amendment rights if you are an American citizen. He didn't discuss the mental health care issues that we have across our nation. He didn't discuss the bad guys that don't give a damn what laws you pass. They're still going to do bad things. Nope. He discussed guns. So, let's talk briefly about what exactly did he say. On Thursday, he announced a set of executive actions and legislative proposals on gun control, saying that gun violence is, and I quote, a public health crisis. I guess somebody forgot to tell him about what's happening, I don't know, on our southern border with sex trafficking and drugs and MS-13 gang members, and the list goes on and on and on. It's a horrible crisis. But nope, gun violence is the public health crisis right now. And the administration's actions do not <laughs> have anything to do with Second Amendment rights, according to the White House. The administration aims to confront not just the gun crisis, but what is actually a public health crisis? Biden said in his remarks in the Rose Garden. He was joined by, you know, that uh, woman from California that claims to be uh, the vice president. Uh, that would be uh, Camilla Harris. Yeah, that woman. Nothing I'm about to recommend in any way impinges on the Second Amendment, Biden said. These are phony arguments suggesting that these are Second Amendment rights at stake from what we're talking about. Continuing, Biden said, but no amendment to the Constitution is absolute. From the very beginning, you couldn't own any weapon you wanted to own. I'm sorry, Joe, that is a lie. From the very beginning, the Second Amendment existed. Certain people weren't allowed to have weapons. That's a lie. So the idea is just bizarre to suggest that some of the things we're recommending are contrary to the Constitution. It's bizarre that you're even thinking this way or that you're lying to the American public, which you're doing. Over time, after the Constitution was written and after the Second Amendment was in the Constitution, yes, we changed things as we went on through the years to keep guns, we thought, out of the hands of bad guys. That didn't work too well, did it? While we're so concentrated on banning black scary weapons and lots of clips, oh, well, I guess we don't give a damn about what's happening in Chicago. <laughs> that, my friends, is a crisis. In attendance were several high-profile gun control activists, including Brady United President Chris Brown, former Representative Gabby Gifford, and Fred Guttenberg. An administration official detailed the actions to reporters on Wednesday. Among them, Biden is asking the Justice Department to propose within a month a rule to stop ghost guns, which are kits people can buy legally to assemble a functional firearm that does not have a serial number. Now, let me stop there for one second and let's talk about ghost guns. For starters, this is the first time I've ever heard of them. I love guns. I love our Second Amendment. Uh, ghost guns. I don't know. Maybe I'm just behind the power curve. Uh, I will say this much. If there is some way that you can produce kits legally to assemble functional firearms and no serial number, then, hey, I'm all for that. That needs to be banned. Okay. Ban it. Uh, but let's talk about the root of the problem here, Joe. How many people that committed in your 
administration's ideology, mass shootings, use ghost guns. Oh, none? Uh, oh, or, oh, I don't know, maybe places like Chicago, they just scratched off the serial number. You can't fix stupid. You can just dress it up and call it a Democrat. That's what you can do. Uh, Biden is also asking the Department of Justice to propose within 60 days a rule on braces used for handguns, which make them more accurate, to propose action on community violence intervention, to publish suggestions for red flag legislation, and is asking his administration to issue a report on gun trafficking. Biden also formally announced David Shipman as the director of the Bureau of Alcohol and Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, ATF. So let's stop for just a second here. Uh, braces for handguns so that they can make them more accurate. Um, Joe, how many people that committed mass murders with handguns had braces attached to the handguns? Why do I hear crickets? That'd be because the answer is zero. A senior administration official Wednesday said that Chipman will respect the Second Amendment while he enforces gun laws. <laughs> Why don't you read what the Second Amendment says? I've seen with my own two eyes what a bullet can do to the human body, and I've fought my entire career to fight this violence and to pass reasonable gun safety measures, Harris said as she introduced Biden. Well, you know what, Harris? I've seen what a gun can do to the human body as well. From a BB gun all the way up to a 60 caliber round. And uh, we're not stopping that. It's impossible. Bad people want to do bad things. They're going to do them. Can't get a gun? They use a knife. Can't get a knife? They use a car. Can't get a car? They use explosives. Can't use explosives? They will use, oh, I don't know, airplanes. What are we waiting for? Because we aren't waiting for a tragedy. We've had more tragedy than we can bear, she said. The solution exists. People on both sides of the aisle want action. Real people. So all that's left is the will and the courage to act. It takes a lot of courage to say stupid shit in front of a camera. But you're doing a great job of it, Camilla. The Biden administration is also expected to throw its weight behind gun control proposals in Congress. Enough prayers... Time for some action, Biden said of Congress. Yep, there we go. Let's throw God out of the equation. I believe the Senate should immediately pass three House passed bills to close loopholes that allow gun purchases, gun purchasers, to bypass the background checks. Let me stop there for a moment. I do not believe that we should have gun sales in any way, shape, or form in America that will allow an individual to bypass a background check. That's my personal stance on it. Because we do not want somebody that has a criminal record that's a bad guy going in and buying a gun. But how many of these mass shootings fell under that category. I'm waiting, Joe. Come on, Camilla. Figure those numbers out for me and get back to me. Don't take too long. And oh, let me give you an example uh, or just a heads up. <laughs> it's zero. He also pushed for two gun control laws that would go even further than that. We should also ban weapons and high-capacity magazines in this 
Biden said. He said there's no reason a person would need a weapon that can hold 100 rounds. Well, Joe, maybe, possibly, if you weren't allowing Muslim terrorists to come across the border with Mexico and America, infiltrating us because they've got no other way to get in, then we wouldn't need magazines with 100 rounds. But let's take it a step further. How many of these mass shootings did the shooter have a magazine and they fired over 100 rounds? I'll be waiting for that answer too. We should also eliminate gun manufacturers from the immunity they receive from Congress, Biden said, referring to the Protection of Lawful Commerce and Arms Act, the PLCAA, a law that prevents gun makers from being sued for crimes committed with the guns that they sell legally. This is the only outfit that is exempt from being sued, he continued. Let me stop right there for a moment. Uh, Joe, God, Jesus, dude. Uh, stop lying, please. Just stop lying. Uh, if somebody drinks and drives and kills one of my family members, let's say they're in a, I don't know, a Chevy pickup truck. Am I able to sue Chevy for selling that truck to the guy who killed my family member? How about all the recent stabbings that have taken place in America? Where the crazy idiot that wanted to do harm to innocent people wasn't allowed to get a gun, so they used a knife. Can the victim's family sue the company that made the knife? You see the argument here? It's absolutely batshit crazy to even think that this is okay. This is the only outfit that exempt from being sued, he said. I'm not going to repeat that again because it hurts my head. If I get this one thing on my list... Give me that one, because I tell you what there would be a come-to-the-Lord moment these folks would have real quickly. What an idiot. Some of Biden's claims during the press conference are regularly disputed by Republicans, including that gun manufacturers can be sued and the background checks aren't required at gun shows. Indeed, the PLCAA also protects against suits for harm solely caused by the criminal or unlawful misuse of firearm produced or ammunition products. This does not count, for example, if a gun is defective or if a gun was knowingly given to a person who is banned from possessing one. Further, the gun show loophole, as it is known, is not actually about gun shows. All federally licensed commercial dealers at gun shows, or not, must conduct background checks. But federal law prevents some non-commercial sellers who don't need to be licensed to sell guns without conduct producing background checks. These sales sometimes happen at gun shows. Republicans, meanwhile, have expressed their suspicion of Biden's agenda, which goes even further than what he announced on Thursday. By appointing the anti-gun Maverick Garden as Attorney General, Merrick Garden as Attorney General, and nominating David Chipman, formerly a senior staffer of the leading gun control lobbyist, uh, to head the ATF, Biden has made clear his sights are set on restricting the rights of law-abiding gun owners, criminals, and forgoing substantive measures that will actually keep Americans safe the National Rifle Association, NRA, said in their statement. Couldn't agree more. Further, the proposed Biden announcement tonight could require law-abiding citizens to serve 
after lawful property and enable states to expand gun compensation orders. The NRA will fight this nomination and ill-conceived executive actions. Thank you. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, Republican California, added, President Biden's plan to announce his attempts to trample over our constitutional Second Amendment rights by executive fiat, he has soft on crime, but infringes on the right of law-abiding citizens. I won't stand for it, and neither will House Republicans. Follow the Constitution. Senator Ted Cruz, Republican Texas, said, The answer is not to restrict the Second Amendment rights of law-abiding citizens. The answer is to go after violent criminals and come down on them like a ton of bricks. Attorney General Merrick Garland also spoke at the event. He said that gun control is needed to prevent future tragedy from gun violence. What the hell does that mean? We stand here today, not at a moment of tragedy, but in the midst of an enduring tragedy, Garland said. Brady United, one of the highest profile gun control groups in the U.S., billed Biden and Harris as the strongest gun safety ticket in history at an event last fall. President Biden's actions are historic and they will have an immediate impact. These are tangible and powerful policies that will save lives, Brown said of the president's executive action in a statement. That also is a lie. You could ban the sale of every single gun and ammunition today in America. And for the remainder of time that the earth exists, millions or billions of years from now, if a bad person wants to kill an innocent person with a gun, they will be able to do that. In fact, most of those that have killed someone in a mass shooting with a gun bought the gun legally anyhow. But the bigger picture here is that only law-abiding citizens are affected by gun laws. That is all. Not the bad guy, because the bad guy does not give two shits about what laws you pass, Democrats and liberals. They don't care. They will get their hands on whatever it needs, whatever they need, to take an innocent life or hurt people. They don't care about your laws. They already know that they can't randomly go shoot and kill people. It's against the law in America. But they still do it. They already know that you can't bring a gun into a school and shoot and kill kids. But they still do it. All the places that are attacked, when they're attacked, where people are killed in mass shootings, guns weren't allowed there to start with. Did that stop them? No, it did not stop them, and it's not going to stop them. The only way to stop a bad person with a gun that has ill intentions is a good person with a gun who has good intentions. This debate has been going on for many, many years. And sadly, as we see today, it's getting worse. It's getting to where the President of the United States, that's right, that guy, held a press conference at the White House with Camilla and their other restrict guns from people and lied about the tragedy that's taken place in America. You notice they didn't mention anything about what's happening in Democrat-run cities across this nation. Pick one. Chicago, New Orleans, Baton Rouge, Philadelphia, Memphis, Oakland, I don't care. You pick one. And look at the gun violence that's taken place. But yet, once or twice a year, we have some nut job 
go into a location and kill several people. Did they care about the laws? No. Doesn't affect them in any way, shape, or form. It affects you, the American public. So, what can you do? Well, you can get on the phone and you can contact your congressmen and women, senators, and, oh, hell, even the White House, and demand that they do real, put forward something that actually will help, and that is fund more money into the mental health crisis that we have in America. Fund more money to hire counselors, to hire psychiatrists, to hire people in the mental health profession, and then go out and be actively involved with finding ways and solutions to help these people. You don't start off by restricting the rights of innocent Americans that are law-abiding citizens from owning something that they feel in their need and their family is going to protect them from future assaults and or deaths. It just doesn't work that way. And it's absolutely insanity to think that it does. So, contact your members of Congress, contact your senators, contact the White House, Hell, while you're at it, do the same thing as CNN and MSNBC because they're on ban spewing this ridiculous ideology. It's got to stop. And the only place it can stop is with you, the American public. Folks, that's it for tonight's show. I've got some things I have to attend this afternoon uh, or later tonight, I'm sorry. and uh, But I want you to please be aware of what's happening, be aware of the laws that are trying to be passed, be aware of what the NRA is trying to do to help, and other conservatives and Republicans as well. And hopefully, God willing, we can do something that will help curtail these restrictions that are coming our way. And this is only the beginning. Trust me, <laughs> they're just starting. It's going to get stupid really, really quick. As always, please say a prayer for our men and women serving the United States military, our veterans, our law enforcement officers, our first responders, their families, our angel families, Joe Biden. They're the ones that are killed by illegal immigrants. That's a national crisis. Say a prayer for our blue and gold star families and our country. Thank you. God bless you all, and I'll be seeing you real soon.